going to Excellence Lee Academy. For today, discussing um, the method of solving um, differentiation known as product rule. Product rule is a method of differentiation adopted when you have two terms either adding or subtracting, right, multiplying each other, right. If I have two terms multiplying each other, hence I will apply the concept of order of product rule. If I have f of x, a function of x, right, which is equal to uh, the u of x multiplying what the v of x. If I have this term multiplying it over this way, hence my the f prime of x will now be equal to what the v du over the x plus u dv over the x. Here is simply the formula to solve problem under product rule of differentiation. Right? So v du over the x plus u dv over the x. So if I have two terms multiplying each other, I will apply the concept of what they or product rule. Let's take for example, example, if I have y equal to 2x plus 1 into um, 3x squared minus 4 this way. This, are, this is the term and the term multiplying. I will apply what the product rule. So what's your first task? How do you solve this problem under product rule of differentiation? Your first task is to call this, call it u and call this v. So if I call this u, so let u to be equal to what the 2x plus 1. If I differentiate u with respect to x, I'll have the u over the x being equal to if I reject this, I'll have 2 as my answer. Also, we said call this u, call this v. So let v to be equal to what the 3x squared minus 4. If I differentiate v with respect to x, I'll have the v over the x being equal to, if I differentiate this term here, I'll have 6x as my answer. Right? At this point, using product rule, using product rule, right? Using product rule at this point. So if I use my product rule, the formula is going to the dy over dx is equal to v du over dx plus u dv over dx. Here is simply the formula to product rule. At this point, the one over dx here over dx is equal to what is v? Please check. V is what? All this term here. 3x squared minus 4. 3x squared minus 4. That's my v. The u over the x is what here? Check the u over the x is obviously 2. I'll have 2 at this point. Plus, what is u? u, we said u is what? 2x plus 1. That's into 2x plus 1. The v over the x, check. The v over the x is what? 6x. I'll have 6x at this section. Hence, I can write this as saying dy over dx is now equal to 2 into 3x squared minus 4 plus 6x into 2x plus 1. Right? At this point, I can choose to expand. If I expand all this, I'll have dy over dx is equal to 2 times 3 is what? 6 x squared minus 2 times 4 is what the 8 plus 6x times 2x that's what 12x squared right 
plus 6n times 1, that's 6x. At this point, I will collect my terms. My terms, right? So my y over the x here will be equal to, I can see the x part with 2 here to 2 here. That becomes what the 6x squared plus what the 12x squared, right? So, plus 6x, then what? Minus 8. If I add up the 6, I will have 6x squared plus 12x squared, I will have what the 18x squared plus 6x minus 8. The y over the x is equal to this answer. Also, you can just choose to factorize the wish. Um, the y over the x is not equal to, uh, I can see that um, 2 is common here. If I pick up 2, right, into 2 divided by 18, that's 9. 9 was there, 9x nine squared plus, I have a purple sign here, um, 6x divided by 2, about 3x. I'll be minus. Then 8 divided to I'll have 4. So I have this. Here's my final answer. After differentiating that term using the concept of what is or product rule. Let's take one example and let's see how we can solve it using concept of product rule. Alright, if I have example 2, so I'm supposed to differentiate y is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 on into um, 2x cubed plus 3x minus 10. If I'm supposed to solve this, what method will I apply? Obviously, I will apply with the, a product rule. Why? Because these two things are multiplying each other. Let's use first. How do you solve this? We said you call this what the u and call this v. If I call this u, hence we said let u to be equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. If I differentiate u with respect to x, I'll have the u over the x being equal in value to. If I differentiate this, I'll have 6x plus 4. If you don't know how to differentiate this, this is called general method of differentiation. I will drop the link on the description of this video. So if you don't know how to differentiate this term, check the description of this video and then you see how to differentiate um, terms like this. If I proceed, I differentiate you, right? Call this u. Let's call this e. Let v to be equal to what the 2x cubed plus 3x minus 10. If I differentiate v with respect to x, I'll have the v over the x being equal in value to, if I differentiate this all this thing here, I'll have 6x squared plus 3. This is what I'll have by the this term. Yeah. At this point, using what the, using product rule, we say that what? The y over the x is equal to v, the u over the x plus u, the v, sorry, the v over the x. At this point, the y over the x, the y over the x is equal in value to, we said u, what's the U is, uh, what's U? U, V, sorry. V, right? What's V? Call this term here. That's what the 2S cubed, right? Plus 3X minus 10. This is all V. Into what the, the U over the X. Check. What's the U over the X? It's all this term here, right? Which is what the 6X plus 4, I have this, plus u, this is u, check u, what is u, u is, we said u is all this, right, that's um, 3x squared, 
plus 4x minus 1. Next up, check what is the v over the x. The v over the x is what then? 6x squared plus 3 into what then? 6x squared plus 3. I have it. Right? 6x squared plus 3. Right? So at this point, what do we do? Right? At this point, I can see that I can rewrite this as saying the y over the x is now equal in value to what the 6x plus 4 on into 2x cubed plus 3x minus 10 plus 6x squared plus 3 on into what the 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. So this is my answer after differentiating this term. Thanks for watching. In our next class, I'm going to do much more, more complex examples on product.